This is Mike from the Military Traveler. We're here at the Pensacola RV Park in Pensacola, Florida. Let's go inside and check it out. The Pensacola RV Park here in Pensacola, Florida is located off of Interstate 10, just before you get to Pensacola, Florida on exit seven. Uh, it's in a residential neighborhood, almost a little bit tough to find because there's just that small sign at the entrance. Then you get here and you go down this long driveway uh, into the RV park. It's off the road so you don't hear all the interstate noise um, that you hear in some of the other parks. But uh, we'll get down here and show you the registration. So I've made it down the long driveway to the entrance to the Pensacola RV park and as you can see the, the sites here are nice. They're um, not huge but they're spacious enough to where you're not right beside your neighbors and they have plenty of big rig um, facilities as far as you can some big drive-throughs so you're not um, uh, too cramped to where you can't park your vehicles etc we park our truck and our our car in the same spot so there's no issue for us with 43 foot uh, travel trailer a truck and a car all in the same spot so uh, like I said they do have spots that are plenty big enough for you and then we make it to the registration office and this is where all the action happens as far as you register there's not a gift shop which is uh, just one small negative that they don't have anything for you there is a vending machine in the back but uh, otherwise you have to go up to the convenience store and it's just a mile away so there's the office uh, women's bathroom on this side the bathrooms are very clean they have uh, big showers uh, they were rated by good sam with a nine and a half and uh, overall everything here was rated a, an eight or higher over there to the back is the dog park there's actually two different dog parks there one for little and one for small dogs uh, a little pavilion here for you to do picnic or whatever you may want to do um, men's restrooms over here on the side and then in the back here is the laundry area and that's another one where it's only three uh, washers and dryers so it does get a little bit crowded in there and um, you may just want to go into town and, to do your laundry. Uh, the laundries are good. Um, $1.75 for a wash, $1.75 for a dry. They take quarters and there's an app that you can use if you don't want to do quarters. Uh, but like I said, it does get a little bit crowded. So my overall review of the Pensacola RV Park in Pensacola, Florida is that it's a good park to stay at um, if you don't have kids and the reason I say that is because there's not a whole lot of things for uh, children to do here at the park there's no playground or anything like that it's a great place to go fishing uh, they have a fully loaded stock pond uh, we stayed here for seven nights and it cost less than forty dollars a night which is very inexpensive especially considering that we had a very good size uh, lot we had um, cable internet and everything that we needed um, there's a lot to do nearby. There's the uh, beach, of course. There's uh, a racetrack that we went to and um, watched a race. And there's just a lot of things to see near the Pensacola Naval Air Station. So overall, it's a very good park. It was nice, quiet. They have uh, 87 spaces here. There's no cabins. There's no place to pitch a tent or anything like that. It's all strictly RV sites. So like I said, it's a, it's a good place for a nice, quiet um, day, week, whatever you might want to spend. And also, like I said, for us, we considered it very inexpensive and had a great time. The address and the details about the park will be down in the description. Uh, please like, su subscribe, uh, comment, etc. Or go to our website, which is www.militarytraveler.com. Thank you very much.